got the Broncos out of the way. Time to move on to those Chiefs. And this is a really interesting team, and this is a really interesting year for this team. And to start off with this team going into this year, the first pro you got to look at is just simply... You got Mahomes, you got Andy Reid, you got Travis Kelsey. And there's a lot of reasons to doubt the Chiefs this upcoming season, from the division they're in, to the guys they've lost, and to the fact that it's just a team that's kind of changing in their identity. But even though you could argue they are changing in their identity, you still have the core intact. And when in doubt, when you have an elite quarterback, an elite head coach, and the best tight end in the league, that's usually something pretty good that you could just bet on that they're going to find a way to make it work. You know, like how often do you have a time where you have an elite quarterback in his prime, argue, you know, one of the best coaches in the league, not arguably, one of the best coaches in the league, one of the best weapons in the league, and that team fails. That's, I don't know, like look at the NFL history, like Peyton Manning, once he got nice, did he ever miss the playoffs? Tom Brady with Bill Belichick? No, like. At this point, what you, you've seen from Mahomes and Andy Reid together, you have to start to compare them to the all-time great co- quarterback-coach combos. Not that they're like the best of all time or that they're top three, but like you can put them in that realm in terms of what they've been able to do so far together. So when you have those three together, it's almost like if you have any semblance of something decent around it, you can figure they're going to find a way to at least win double digits, ga- double digit games and find a way to get into the playoffs, especially in the league now where you have seven teams making the playoffs in each conference, even though the AFC is extremely difficult this year. I think it's the best conference I've ever seen in the NFL. But moving on, yeah, like I said, if you have anything decent around them, they do. They do. You know, you lost Ty- Tyreek Hill. They're going in some different directions. But you know what you still have? An elite quarterback with a solid offensive line. And when you look at a lot of these other teams in the league, in, or even the AFC, or in their division, look at the Raiders, and you could t- talk about, you just lost Tyreek Hill, and the Raiders have the best receiver in the league if it's not Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams. That's something to worry about with Josh Jacobs and all the other weapons they have. And the Broncos just brought in Russell Wilson to, t- to complement all the great weapons they already had. But you know what they don't have? a great offensive line, or even a good offensive line. They're both probably in the bottom half of the league going into next year. And Mahomes is going to be well-protected and have the best tight end in the league going with him with an offensive head coach that is going to find ways to get the most out of the weapons. But speaking of the weapons, you have to talk about that as a con in terms of who is the go-to guy as a receiver. Like, I think they have, like, a decent still slew of wide receivers. I think Juju's nice as, like, a second, third guy that's going to, you know, be a good team player when he's not doing TikTok dances on the logo and all that. Marquez Valdez-Scanley, though, like, he was okay. He was pretty good with Aaron Rodgers. He started to play a lot better, but he was also a guy that Packers fans would get pretty frustrated with, and that was when he was expected to be the number two option. Now, maybe he will be the number two or even number three option this year, but who's the number one? McCole Hardman? Again, a nice slot guy, a nice little speedster in the slot, but not having that go-to a guy out wide when you've had in the past years a guy that has just taken the top off the defense, right, left, left, right, all the time, that's something that you really have to adjust to, and they're just going to have to change the way they play a good amount. And which leads me to the next, that's not a con, it's just a question in terms of something that could come back, that something that we talk about if the Chiefs disappoint this year, and it's, is Mahomes him? What I mean by that is, Mahomes has proven that he's a great quarterback. There's nothing that could happen that, like, unless he just completely changes who he is as a player, that would say that he's not a great quarterback. But what we've seen the past couple of years is that teams have caught up, meaning quarterbacks have caught up. There's been a lot of really talented guys coming to the league, Justin Herbert in your own division, and also the weapons have caught up. Now that you've lost your best receiver and you look around the league in terms of what how many receivers uh, all these teams have and how they're able to utilize it, Teams have caught up when maybe three years ago you looked at the NFL and it was like Mahomes and then it was kind of everybody else. At least like a year or two, that's how it felt. Now, like a lot of people wouldn't say that Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. I mean, the top 100 list came out and Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady were still ahead of him. So now it's kind of time for Mahomes to prove like, are you really that guy that's the face of the league moving forward? Or are you one of the guys? Are you like next to Justin Herbert? Are you next to these other young quarterbacks, Josh Allen, that are really showing themselves right now. So are you him or are you just, are you great? Are you going to be like in a rivalry with these other young quarterbacks as well? So it's his time to show that he separates himself. If he could play as the best quarterback in the league this year, he's back to that status of being that guy, being the face of the league. But 
Lastly, for in terms of cons, you got to talk about the defensive line just based off the fact that you're in the AFC West and it would be great if they were able to have an elite defensive line, elite pass rush, but really outside of Chris Jones, they don't have that, which can hurt them when you have quarterbacks that are going to be able to sit back in the pocket a little bit against you and you're not going to be able to exploit their suspect offensive lines and that's an issue against these quarterbacks that if they don't get pressured, let Justin Herbert get time, let Russell Wilson get time, let Derek Carr with those weapons get time, that could hurt you. Good news is Mahomes will most likely have a decent amount of time with that offensive line he has, but the de- defense might not be able to take advantage and they might have to be in a lot of high scoring teams games with a team that now is maybe a little less suited to playing those 30 point type ball games without Tyreek Hill. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir. Please hit that subscribe.